More about this controversy with Morton Klein. Morton is the president of the Zionist Organization of America. Morton, good to have you on the show with us tonight. I want good to start to off. Good to have you with us. I, I want to start off with your thoughts <laughs> on the comment that the president initially made that generated uh, all this recent controversy. Yeah. Let's watch. <laughs> Where has the Democratic Party gone? Where have they gone where they're defending these two people over the state of Israel? And I think any Jewish people that vote for a Democrat, uh, I think it shows either a total lack of knowledge or great disloyalty. So, Morton, how, how do you interpret that <laughs> comment? <laughs> Look, it is crystal clear that in response to a question as to whether he, he what it has to say about uh, the anti-Semitic congressman Tlaib and Omar demanding that all aid be cut to Israel, he said these people hate Israel and Jews, and any Jewish person either who uh, uh, supports them is either ignorant or is disloyal to the Jews in Israel. It is crystal clear that's what he meant, that disloyalty to the Jews in Israel. I find it an abomination that ADL has publicly put out a fundraising letter claiming that the Trump, President Trump has called, uh, accused Jews of being dual loyalists, uh, not being loyal to America, when, of course, he clearly was talking about uh, that Jews, in his opinion, who support uh, these terrible anti-Semites, are disloyal to Jews and to the Jewish state. It's crystal clear. All right. Uh, that's clearly your position on that. Right. Now, as we know, Morton, the, the president was criticizing the anti-Israel congresswoman Omar and Tlaib. What do you make of the lack of condemnation for Democrats for the way that these congresswomen attacked Israel recently in their press conference? I mean, congresswoman granted are entitled to criticize the Israeli government, but they've made statements riddled with gross inaccuracies, and that's putting it mildly. I mean, they said there's a Muslim ban in Israel. They said that Israel must end the occupation of Palestine, and uh, they also equated Israel with apartheid South Africa, and we're not hearing any condemnation there. What do you make of that? It is really, as an American citizen, so distressing that when you have these two anti-Semites, these Israelophobes who hate Israel, say that Israel is not a democracy, is not an ally, compared Israel not only to South Africa but to Nazi Germany, calls them an evil state as well as a, an apartheid state, these women meet with Hezbollah supporters and take pictures with them, smiling with them. And w I'm just devastated to see that the leadership of the Democratic Party, Pelosi and Steny Hoyer and the rest, not only are not condemning these terrible anti-Semites, they're defending them. They're actually saying these people are not anti-Semitic. It's amazing. These people call any, with any hint of insensitivity to a black person or Hispanic, they call them a racist in one minute. And here these women are overtly attacking Jews in the Jewish state with horrible lies, and we don't hear a peep uh, condemning them uh, from the leadership of the Democratic Party. It is really shocking to me and uh, frightening to me, frankly, as an American citizen. I don't know what's going on with the Democratic Party. Morton, I, I want to focus on some of those comments that they made. I want to drill down. If, if we focus on what they said, there's a lot of outrage at the terminology used by them. They've repeatedly said that Israel must end the occupation of Palestine, that Israelis are on Palestinian land. They, they didn't say disputed territories. They didn't say disputed occupied territories. They said, they said end the occupation. Explain why that is so problematic. Well, <laughs> First of all, it's amazing. Omar, who's from Somalia, uh, doesn't condemn the horrible conditions in Somalia or the horrible conditions in Sudan or in Syria, only focusing on the Jewish state. <laughs> now, this issue of occupation, in 1948, this was land legally controlled, legally uh, controlled by England. England took th this a portion of Palestine which was a region, it was never a country or a state, split it in half, said half will go to the Arabs, half to the Jews for two states. The Arabs, when the Arabs turned it down, suddenly, at that point, they said, no, it's not their land anymore. Jordan then captured it during the 48 War, a war in intention, whose intent was to destroy the fledgling Jewish state of Israel. From 48 to 67, Jordan illegally occupied it. The UN never recognized it. So first of all, it is not Arab land. And isn't it interesting, if it's Arab land, why is it called Palestine? 
That's a Roman well, Greek name. It's a Roman Greek name. But about the occupation, Israel's given away all of Gaza, 40 percent of Judea and Samaria, the West Bank. That's where 99 percent of the Arabs live, under their own control, their own rule, they have their own parliament, their own TV, their own media, their own schools, their own police force. They run their own lives except for security. So this is one of the great Orwellian lies that there is an occupation, where an occupation means you stole someone else's sovereign land. It was not the Arab sovereign land, and uh, and you rule over them well, when, in at, fact, at, they at rule the over themselves. At the very least, there are dual claims to the land. At the very <laughs> least, there are dual claims uh, to the land. Uh, very quickly, Morton, are you concerned that this is a whole thing is making Israel a, a partisan issue in the 30 seconds we have left? Making it what? I didn't hear that. Are you concerned that Israel is becoming more and more of a partisan issue in American politics? Uh, it's only, only to the extent that more and more Democrats are becoming more hostile to Israel, and they're not attacking uh, the anti-Semites the way the Republican Party has attacked the bigots in their party. So, yes. I am not worried. I'm worried that we're, we're not having the strong support in the Democratic Party for Israel that used to be there five years and ten years ago. And uh, this is a great concern. I know there are many Democrats who are very supportive right. of Israel, but they become frightened to be overtly supportive of Israel because of this far, far move to the left All right, Martin, uh, by I'm these people.